We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Millingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that the Salton Sea is turning into toxic dust. Closed waters break the shore, retreating waves that shrink from view, suffocated sheets caught in budding plants that run against the land in all its sloping might. Estuaries run dry, shamed into retreat by hasty policies that warm and strip and drain, held aloft as salty toxic tears, washed out for all to see. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Water Resources Research, which has found that the Salton Sea, California's most polluted inland lake, is turning into toxic dust caused by a decline in Colorado river flow. The Salton Sea is a shallow saline lake located in the California desert. It is an endoheric lake, which means that it has no outflow to an external body of water such as a river or ocean, and only loses water through evaporation or seepage into the ground. Formed more than a century ago by a breached canal, it is California's largest lake, but for decades now it has been shrinking, exposing a powdery arsenic, selenium and DDT lay shoreline that then drifts into the atmosphere. Near the sea, hospitalisation rates for children with asthma are double the state average, with one in five of them suffering from this condition. This dramatic increase in salt and chemicals has also caused a large die-off for fish and birds including endangered species. This new study shows that the declining water levels are due to less water coming from the Colorado River, which is the main source of water for the Salton Sea. Researchers used a hydrological model that accounted for all processes in the surrounding areas that impact the lake's water balance, including climate, soil types, land slope and plant growth. It is still not clear if the reduction in water from the Colorado River itself is due mostly to global warming, drying out the river, reductions in allocation levels to California, or both. However, this research further highlights the need to develop a more holistic approach to mitigate both the health and environmental impacts of salt and sea depletion. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Closed waters break the shore, retreating waves that shrink from view, suffocated sheets caught in budding plants that run against the land in all its sloping might. Estuaries run dry, shamed into retreat by hasty policies that warm and strip and drain, held aloft as salty toxic tears, washed out for all to see. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Salt to Make a Sea by Renee Ashley. Renee Ashley is an American poet, novelist, essayist and educator who was born in Palo Alto, California and raised nearby in Redwood City. Ashley attended San Francisco State University and was graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in three majors in 1979. Subsequently, she earned her Master of Arts in Comparative Literature from San Francisco State University in 1981. Her poetry collections include Salt, published in 1992, Basic Heart, published in 2009, and The View from the Body, published in 2016. In recognition of her achievements in poetry and writing, Ashley has received multiple awards and fellowships, including a Pushcart Prize, the Brittingham Prize in Poetry, and a National Endowment for the Arts Fellowship in Poetry. She is presently on the faculty of Fairleigh Dickinson University, and an editor of the Literary Review. Salt to Make a Sea by Renee Ashley. I 
cannot hold such emptiness. The only meaning, the meaning we make in the way time tugs the body down, the body named bone, named brain, the colour of dust and tremor, the soft meat and the bag it lives in. We beg from the body. It shivers and spits. We settle for desire in consummate sorrow for a life like too much water, shallow and wide, for enough salt to make a little sea. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.